All right, guys, here we go. First startup. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm heading up to the junkyard. Um, I got a small list of stuff I want to get for the hatch. I'm going to grab a new hood because uh, I want to throw that spacer on there and leave it on there. So I'm going to get a new hood so I can cut a hole in it so the engine will just stick up through it. Um, then I'm going to look for either another J35 intake manifold that will line up with the throttle body that's on it or I'll just get a, <clears throat> a throttle body that um, will line up with the intake manifold I got last time I was up here. Uh, either way is fine. The only issue with trying to find a uh, throttle body to line up with this intake manifold is that I will have to figure out something else for the nitrous because then my uh, my uh, throttle body spacer that has the nitrous port in it will no longer fit. So uh, yeah, we got about a 45 minute drive or so until I get there. Um, and then hopefully I'll be able to find everything I'm looking for relatively easily. Everything I believe is half off this weekend, so it's probably gonna be pretty busy up there, but. All right, guys, so I just left the junkyard. I got a hood. Um, I got a different J35 intake manifold that I think will work. Uh, the throttle body um, bolt pattern looks exactly the same as the one on my J30 does, so pick that up. And uh, I got some, I actually took the, uh, the longer vacuum hoses off this intake manifold because um, they were for the spacer. As you saw in the last video, mine were struggling to reach and would have met a hole in it so uh, I, I, I got the uh, the uh, vacuum lines with this one so I shouldn't have that problem anymore um, so hopefully sometime this weekend I'll find some time to cut a big old fat hole in this new hood and throw throw the uh, intake manifold and everything on there and should be good to go so all right guys so I'm over here at my parents house got the hatch over here getting ready to go uh, clean off that new hood and I'm gonna try to cut the hole out today get my new intake manifold and spacer on it and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get this hood off here. I still haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna measure to cut the hole out, um, but I got a few ideas that might work. So we'll see what works. So yeah, for now I'm gonna get this hood off of here and then I'm going to get the other hood on and then try to figure out a way to measure for where to cut the hole at, so. All right, so I got the new hood on there. Obviously it doesn't shut. So what I think I'm gonna try is sticking some duct tape across the top of the intake manifold and then closing the hood onto it and then it should stick to the hood when I lift it back up and then I'll just be able to measure from the duct tape each way so I can see how far I have to cut it in all directions and then uh, we will go from there. That's my plan as of now. Um, so yeah, let's get started with it. All right guys, so I stuck my piece of tape on here, closed the hood, opened it up, stuck the tape to the hood and I measured from the tape to the side on both sides. Then I measured um, from this side all the way to the end of the throttle body. And then, uh, so I think I'm just gonna cut it straight across here and then just an angle down to the throttle body on both sides just to make it a little easier. Um, so I got it all marked out on the hood over here. I got it like an inch or two small on all the sides so that way I can cut it a little small and then slowly work my way out from there. But you can see my line around here. The tape's still stuck on here so I'm gonna go pull that off. And uh, yeah, get the jigsaw out and start cutting. See what we can do here. All right guys, so I made it about six inches in and already broke both of the blades that I had for the jigsaw. So big shout out to Rich that was, was in that last video riding and he gave me all of his tools. So one of these should be able to cut through here. I already got one line done with the sawzall, so. Yep, I'm gonna keep on cutting away here and get this whole thing out. Hope
All right, guys, so we got the hole cut out. It's pretty ugly, but it'll work. Um, I work at a tubing factory, so I'm gonna get some tubing and cut the slit the side of it and just kind of put it around the hole outside of this hole. So it'll clean it up a lot, it'll look a lot better. And then I'm gonna primer the hood and probably paint it red-ish like the car for now. So yeah, I'm gonna put the throttle body space or the uh, intake manifold spacer back on it and then the J35 intake manifold on it. And then it should sit up here roughly. So I think it'll look a lot more flush in there. So I'm gonna get that done real quick. and then all right guys, I'm gonna dive into this intake manifold now. Um, you've already seen the process on how to do it. I, it's in the last video, so I don't really feel a need to talk about any of it. I'm just gonna put it on time-lapse and get a quick video of me pulling it off and throwing the other one on and yeah. Alright guys, so I got the intake manifold, the spacer, everything's on there. Um, as you can see, this hose, this vacuum hose here will fit perfectly as it should because it came off the motor with the spacer. As well as the other one I got to go underneath the throttle body, I haven't put that one on yet. Um, so yeah, basically just buttoning it, buttoning it up now, put all the vacuum lines back on, put the throttle body back on, and then we'll be on our way. She's coming along. so. Uh, once we get all this together, I can put the hood back on. I got a feeling it's still going to hit in a few spots. Um, so we'll probably have to do a little bit more cutting. But uh, yeah, we're pretty much done. So, All right, guys. She's all back together now. Everything is ready to go. About ready to start it up. Um, for those of you wondering, uh, the, this motor is a J30A4 out of a 2004 Accord V6. Um, the spacer and manifold or intake manifold are off of a 2005 Pilot, which I believe is the J35A6. Um, so if you guys are wondering uh, what manifold works with the Accord motors, I would definitely recommend this one. Everything, the throttle body lined right back up perfectly. Um, and it was a pretty, pretty clean and simple swap right over. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these connectors connected back up and then go ahead and fire up, see how she does. All right, guys, the hood is on. The only problem I'm seeing currently is these nitrous lines are pretty tight in there if they go underneath the hood. So I'm either gonna have to lift them up above it like this or I'm maybe flip this spacer around so they're on the backside or something. But other than that, everything clears pretty good. Um, I kind of wish I would've, well, I guess that there's not a whole lot of room here to bring that up in here or over here to bring that out in here. But yeah, I'm gonna have to put some primer on this so it doesn't rust, paint it, probably just rattle can it red for now um but yeah so she's good to go i haven't tried to fire it up yet so i'm going to do that here in a minute but also i forgot to mention um not only is this intake thicker um it's going to hold a lot more air so i'll get a bit more torque with it um it also does not have the butterflies for those of you that aren't j series guys the intake manifolds in the j series have these butterflies in here i don't know how well you can see that they have basically a flap inside of here that opens once you get over a certain RPM, it'll open up and it'll allow you to make more torque. Um, but this one does not have that, so it will always have the most amount of torque that it can. So, yeah, that's another benefit to doing this manifold swap. So any of you guys that have Accords or uh, J-swaps or anything like that, um, the 2005 Pilots will swap right over with little to no... Um, issues at all. All the vacuum lines lined up perfectly, everything 
went pretty smooth so yeah i just want to throw that in there these butterflies are another uh big benefit to this manifold over here off the pilot not having it so yep we are done i'm gonna go ahead and get all my tools put away fire it up see how she does and... all right guys here we go first startup oh yeah sounds happy cool so i get into it a little bit on the way home and uh yeah we're done guys it's been a long time coming the hood sitting up or the engine sitting up pretty high now so gonna head on home give rich back all of his tools thanks again rich much appreciated you the man so yeah what's going on guys i got my nephew aiden in the back seat back here Aiden, you want to say hi to everybody wave at the camera going up to a car show today um it's at a beach so he's coming along we're gonna go swimming at the beach and stuff so we're in the hatch right now doing good so far so yeah should be a pretty good day we'll all right buddy you want to go fast okay hold on tight you ready guys so just made it back home the hatch did great on the drive uh definitely a huge improvement with that intake manifold and spacer on there um so yeah i would definitely recommend doing that uh for you accord guys i don't know if it would clear your hood or not having that spacer um but if not i'm sure the manifold alone will do do wonders for uh your low end and high end torque actually so um yeah Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, give us all that love, leave a comment, let me know what you think and what you want to see. So, uh, yeah, until next time, guys, we'll see you.